Hey my lovely people, welcome back to German Pro. Happy learning at home. Today we will going to start with the chapter one, that is cafe, which is cafeteria. In this, you will going to learn about the conversation in the cafe. Kishpereshu im cafe. Gitrenga karton means the drinking card or how telephone booking, how to book your table or an order on telephone. Rationing about the bill. Rationing means bill. Ein Gespräch beginnen sich und andere vorstellen means how to begin the conversation with other person and how to introduce yourself in front of them and asking the question again back. And next is zahlen. Okay, zahlen. Zahlen is singular and zahlen is plural means counting numbers in German. It was bestellen und bezahlen to order something and to pay off the bill. Telephone number nennen und verstehen. On this you will learn how to say your telephone number. And how to understand when someone is speaking. So let's start with it. So here's the chapter one. Treffen im Café. So here are three pictures given. Picture A, picture B, and this last one is picture C. So in the first question, they told us hören Sie die Gespräche, wo Jugend sprechen die Leute sammeln Sie Wörter. In the first one, you have to listen to the conversation of the people in the picture that they are doing, and you have to write about what they are speaking or about what they are talking. You have to collect the word. Zamla means to collect. And in the B part, you don't see the inspiration. No khay mal un lesson zimit. In the second one, you have to listen to the conversation and repeat after them. And now you are wondering how would you repeat it? So here is the transcription given. The people are speaking this only. Firstly, we'll firstly we'll listen it without the transcriptions. Okay, so I am playing it. Listen to it carefully. You have to collect the words. In the first one. Einheit 1 Café D 1-1 1 Entschuldigung, ist hier noch frei? Ja klar, bitte. Sind Sie auch im Deutschkurs? Ja, im Kurs A1. Ich heiße Samira Sundaram. Ich komme aus Indien. Ich bin Katja Borowska aus Russland. Was trinken Sie? Uh, Orangensaft. Zwei Orangensaft, bitte. Zwei. Grüß dich, Julian. Das sind Bela und Alida. Hi, woher kommt ihr? Wir kommen aus Marokko. Und du? Woher kommst du? Aus den USA. Was möchtest du trinken? Kaffee. Ja, ich auch. Ich auch. Ja, bitte. Vier Kaffee, bitte. Drei. Hallo Marina. Zeig dir die Marina, das ist Frau Schiller. Sie ist Deutschlehrerin. Frau Schiller, das ist Marina Alvarez. Guten Tag, Marina. Woher kommen Sie? Ich komme aus Argentinien, aus Rosario. Was möchten Sie trinken? Eistee. Ich auch. Also drei. So I hope you have collected the words. Write to me in the comment section which word have you noted down. So I'll tell you the right one or maybe if you have any question you can write me in the comment section. Here and see the inspiration not high mal and lazy limit. So in this next one you have to listen it and repeat after them. Firstly. We'll do the C1 so that it will be more clear because in this C1 order and see the inspiration and photos. In the C1 we have to order the pictures in a correct manner according to the list, uh, according to the audio. So I'm playing the audio again. You have to order it. So okay, I'll tell you the order because if I play the audio again, so that will be okay. Yeah. So you have to order it, find it, and repeat after them. We'll do. We'll be doing two exercises together. In this you have to find the correct one and then. Like order it and repeat after them if you find one. Playing it again. Einheit eins. Café D. Eins eins. Eins. Entschuldigung, ist hier noch frei? Ja klar, bitte. Sind Sie auch im Deutschkurs? Ja, im Kurs A1. Ich heiße Samira Sundaram. Ich komme aus Indien. Ich bin Katja Borowska aus Russland. Was trinken Sie? Uh, Orangensaft. Zwei Orangensaft bitte. Zwei.
Hi. Grüß dich, Jimmy. Das sind Bene und Alida. Hi. Woher kommt ihr? Wir kommen aus Marokko. Und du? Woher kommst du? Aus den USA. Was möchtest du trinken? Kaffee. Ja, ich auch. Ich auch. Ja, bitte. Vier Kaffee, bitte. Drei. Hallo, Marina. Hi, die Mail. Marina, das ist Frau Schiller. Sie ist Deutschlehrerin. Frau Schiller, das ist Marina Alvarez. Guten Tag, Marina. Woher kommen Sie? Ich komme aus Argentinien, aus Rosario. Was möchten Sie trinken? Eistee. Ich auch. Also drei Eistee. Hope you understand it and repeat after them also. So if you have any question, you can write to me in the comment section. Okay, you have to pay attention on this. Spereche im Café means the conversation of the talk in the cafe. Entschuldigung, ist hier noch frei? Means, excuse me, is this seat oh, free? Was möchten Sie trinken? What would you like to drink? Was möchtest du trinken? What would you like to drink? And, okay, so these meanings are same, but the form is little changed. Was möchtest Sie trinken is used for a formal way. And was möchtest du trinken is used in an informal way. And then they ask Café or the Like they have given the option, cafe or the Was nehmen, trinken Sie. What would you take or what would you drink? Zwei cafe, bitte. Okay, we'll be doing the second part. Where, woher, dialog, trainieren. Where means who, which, or, which is always nominative. Woher means from where. Okay, in the first one, Ergänzen Sie den Kasten. So you have to do this. The greetings, first, I think we have done in the last class also the same part. So for now, we can leave it. We will be moving forward to the second word. Ergänzen Sie den Kasten aus Aufgabe 1. Okay, you have to fill the dialogues. Hallo, ich bin Frau Schiller. Und wie heißen Sie? You have to tell your name. You can say, Hallo, ich heiße oder ich bin, whatever your name is. And the next one, Tag, Lina. You can say, Hallo, guten Tag. Like that. I am telling you the answers. Third one, Was trinken Sie? You can say anything. And cola oder. We'll use the example of above one. I stay bitter. Fourth one, Woher kommst du? You can say, Ich komme aus, from... Like where you come from? Ich komme aus Russland oder ich komme aus Italien. In the for fifth one, you have to ask the question. I guess no, not the question because it ends with full stop. So you can say directly, um, "Hello." The answer will be "Hello, Katia." And the sixth one, you have to ask the question in the sixth one. Same as "Woher kommen Sie?" or "Woher kommen Sie?" Aus China. Was möchtest du trinken? Was trinken Sie? Answer is Tebito. Okay, in the third one, I'm playing the audio in which you have to uh, listen to it and repeat after them. Zwei, drei. Hallo, ich heiße Monika. Hallo, ich heiße Monika. Ich bin Katja. Das ist Samira. Ich bin Katja. Das ist Samira. Woher kommen Sie? You also have to repeat it. Woher kommen Sie? Aus Deutschland. Ich wohne jetzt in Berlin. Aus Deutschland. Ich wohne jetzt in Berlin. Was möchtest du trinken? Was möchtest du trinken? Zwei Kaffee bitte. Zwei Kaffee bitte. Yeah, I hope that you have repeated it. Okay, the fourth one. Dialoge trainieren mit Namen im Kurs. Okay, here's the dialogue already written. So we have repeated that only. Okay, the fourth and third exercise are same. The dialogue that we have repeated is the same as in the fourth. So in this you have to fill the answers, I guess. Or maybe it's optional. Okay, the first one. Zamlen Sie Verben aus den Texten auf Seite 17. Okay, wo is the Seite 17? Okay, in this they are saying collect the verbs from the text on the page number 17 we have. Okay, on the page number 17, we have these dialogues. We have to collect the verbs from it. So, we have to repeat this to collect the verbs. Okay, you can do it later on or maybe you can ask me in the comment section. We will do it quickly. It's easier. We will do it. Okay. I'm reading it and while reading it, I'm telling you quickly the uh, verbs and you have to note it down. Entschuldigung, ist hier noch frei? The verb is ist, which is conjugated. The verb is sein, which is conjugated. Ja, klar, bitte. Sind Sie auch im Deutschkurs? Here's the verb is sein, which is conjugated according to Sie, which is sind. 
I guess you have to write conjugated word only. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, so I am right. You have to write the conjugated verb only. So write the verb is and zind only. Yeah, in pools, a ein. Ish heißt as a Myra zindalam. The verb is heißer. Ish comma aus Indian. The verb is former. Ich bin Katia. Browaska aus Russland. So the here verb is been. Was trinken Sie? Here the verb is trinken. Mm, Orangensaft. So why Orangensaft, bitte? And the next one. Briusdisch, Julian. Da sind Belal und Alida. Here the verb is zind. He, woher kommt ihr? The verb is kommt. We are common aus Morocco. Verb is common. Woher kommst du? Verb is kommst. Aus den USA. Was möchtest du trinken? Here the verb is möchtest und trinken auch. Möchtest is the modal verb. Kaffe. Kaffee? Ja, ich auch. Ich auch. Ja, bitte. Vier Kaffee, bitte. Hallo, Marianne. Tag, Louimi. Marianne, das ist Frau Schiller. Sie, sie ist Deutschlehrerin. The verb is ist Frau Schiller. Das ist Marianne. The verb is is. Guten Tag, Marianne. Woher kommen Sie? The verb is kommen. Ich komme aus Argentinien. Aus Rosario. The verb is kommen. Was möchten Sie trinken? The verb is möchten und trinken. I stay. Ich auch. Also drei I stay. Ho I hope you have noted down the verbs. Okay, we'll be doing the sixth one now. Verben und Endungen ergänzen Sie die Tabelle. Okay, you have to do the conjugation here. So, I am telling you the conjugation quickly. Ich komme, du kommst, er ist jetzt kommen. Wir, okay, sorry. Er ist jetzt kommt, wir kommen, ihr kommt, sie, sie kommen. Ich wohne, du wohnst, the actual infinitive verb is wohnen. Ich wohne, du wohnst, er ist jetzt wohnt, wir wohnen, ihr wohnt, sie, sie wohnen. And the verb infinitive verb is... Infinitive means the actual form of the verb. The actual form of the verb is always ends with en. So that's why common, wonen. And then the next one is heisen. The actual form is heisen. But we conjugate it according to the subjects. Our subject is ish, du, er, zi, we are, ear, zi, zi. So we'll conjugate the verb according to this. With ish, the conjugation will be ish, heiser, du, heist, er, zi, es, heist, we are heisen, ear, heist, zi, zi, heisen. So the conjugation of this is little different. Why? Because I have told you in the previous video. You can watch my previous videos. For better understanding, actually the hyson is the verb from regular verb from special case. This is the case of this. So you can watch the previous video. I will uh, play paste the link in the description box. Next is trinken. Conjugation is ish trinker. Do trinks. The er is ihr trinkt. We are trinken. Ihr er trinkt. Zizi trinken. Hope you understand it. Okay. Next one is hier und sie die Verben markieren sie den Akzent common in der Tabelle von Aufgabe 6 und sprechen sie nach. Okay. In this, you have to listen to the verbs and note it down. You have to listen to the verb and note it down, and again you have to conjugate it. And okay, avoidance is also the uh, also the verb from special case of regular verbs. You can watch that video. Okay, I am playing it. You have to note it down the verbs, and later on you have to conjugate it and send it to me on the comment section. Five zero. Kommen. Ich komme. Du kommst. Er kommt. Wir kommen. Ihr kommt. Sie kommen. Wohnen. Ich wohne. Du wohnst. Sie wohnt. Okay, they are repeating these words only. Common, wohnen, and heißen. So that I've already done. So need, no need to do it. We'll be moving to eighth one. Ergänzen Sie. In this, you have to conjugate the verb according to the subject, which is the first one. Woher kommen Sie? Why? Because our subject is Z and the conjugation of Z is usually in an infinitive form. We are won, wonen in Berlin. Er trinkt Kaffee. Z heißt Zamaira Sundaram. Elida und Belal was trinkt ihr? Frau Schiller arbeitet an der Sprachschule. I have made very clear in the previous videos about the subjects and nominative case you can watch that video i'll give the link in the description box box of all of the videos for better understanding in this we will not going to properly cover the grammar part because we have already done it so you can watch the previous videos in this uh, video we will only going to cover the book nine one we have to do selbst test fragen mit was wo wie and woher so i'll tell you the meaning of all this was means what wo means where we means how woher means from where Here's in the answer button. Tell us the problem. Here's the answers already given. You have to just put the questions, and we have done it multiple times now. So I am going to do it till four. You have to tell me the fifth one in the comment section. 
ओके द क्वेश्चन ऑफ फर्स्ट वन ओके टू फाइंड द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फर्स्ट रीड द आंसर व्हिच इज हाउस डच लैंड सो द क्वेश्चन इज वो हैर कॉमन जी और वो हैर कॉम्स डू सो दे विल से हाउस डच लैंड वी हाइसन जी ओडर वी हाइस डू द नेक्स्ट वन वो वोंस डू ओडर वो वोनन जी इन द फोर्थ वन वाज मियोस्टेस टू ट्रिंकन ओडर वाज मियोस्टन जी ट्रिंकन और सिंपली यू कैन से वाज ट्रिंकन जी और वाज ट्रिंक्स डू इन एन इनफॉर्मल वे आई विल वेट फॉर योर आंसर ऑफ फिफ्थ वन ओके विल बी डूइंग दिस जालन उन जेलन सो आई टोल्ड यू earlier also the singular form is zalan and the plural form is zalan with umlauts zalan zehan okay they have just told you the numbers one is called eins two is called swai three is called dry four is called fear and remember v is always pronounced as f so we say it fear not veer fear five is called fiunf with umlauts so you have to just mold u a little bit fiunf six is called zex you have to give h sound more in zex Seven is called zeven, zeven, and eight is called act. In this also, you have to give h sound more. Act, and nine is called noin, noin. Ten is called sen, not zen. It's sen. Eleven is called elf. Twelve is called zwolf, zwolf. In this, you have a umlaut on o, so you will mold o a little bit. Zwolf. Okay. Here, zalen huren. So we'll play the audio again, and you have to listen to the numbers. And I'll giving you one more exercise. You have to write it also. You have to write the numbers. What whatever number they are saying. Right, Sly. One. Elf. Zeven. noted down the numbers we are moving forward zalen lesen hören sie und lesen sie mit in this you have to listen to it and speak with them 3 3 the numbers are already given 3 same you can see here 3 same we are same film same so i'm playing it you have to repeat with them 3 same Vierzehn. Vierzehn. Fünfzehn. Fünfzehn. Sechzehn. Sechzehn. Siebzehn. Siebzehn. Achtzehn. Achtzehn. Neunzehn. Neunzehn. Zwanzig. Zwanzig. Einundzwanzig. Einundzwanzig. I hope you have repeated after them. Okay, next is we lesen sie die Zahlen. Okay, so in the above exercise, they have told you how to say thirteen. The right thing is thirteen, fifth thing is fourteen, and then so on till twenty-one. So how to say the numbers? We have thirteen, one, three. So in this, you have to change the position of them. For example, we have twenty-four. So twenty is called swansish, but we don't say this swansish fear. Four is fear. In between, we have the und. So we exchange both of them. Firstly, we'll say fear, and then we'll say two. I mean twenty. So you will say it like that: fear und swansish. You write in a uh, right, uh, like you write in a correct manner, but you pronounce it in a opposite manner. Like they have written twenty is swansish first, and then und, and then four, the which is fear. So, but they pronounce it opposite direction: fear und swansish, fear und swansish. Same for thirteen. You will pronounce okay. You will say ten. Write ten means same, and then und, and then three is called dry. You have written in the correct manner, but you will pronounce it in an opposite manner. So, dry, same. Okay, you have to uh, mark the plus sign, not und. We don't have und till twenty. We simply say dry, same, fear, same, film, same, zex, same, zip, same, ask, same, noin, same, and zwan, zish means twenty. And for twenty-one, we say ein und zwan, zish. Same for twenty-two, same for twenty-three. Dry und zwan, zish, fear und zwan, zish, film, film, zwan, zish, zex und zwan, zish, ask und. Oh, zip. Zebra and Swansish, 
28, 29 and 30 is called the right zish. With all the things 30, 40, 50, 60, we have to add zish, zish. The right zish, fiat zish, fium zish, zeg zish is 60. So you have to just add zish at the end with 30, 40, 50. So okay, and you have to tell me what to say 72. Write to me in the comment section. How will we say 72 in German? In the third exercise, hören Sie noch einmal, was hören Sie den Akzent, Aufgabe A und sprechen Sie nach. So in the third one, they are saying, listen to the audio again and mark the accents they are saying. Like right saying, fear saying, you have to do this only. One, zahlen bis tausend. Okay, tausend. Ergänzen Sie, hören Sie und kontrollieren Sie. Tausend ist voll tausend. So, hundred ist voll ein hundert. Two hundred ist voll zwei hundert. And tell me what we call three hundred. Three hundred called drei hundert. And same till nine hundred. And thousand will call ein tausend. Ein tausend. Here you have to note it down one thing. D is always pronounced as T. D is always pronounced as T. So I'll tell you how to say this if like okay I, I can play this. So I'm playing this track. Right you have to write it. 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 if you have any question, you can write to me in the comment section. Fifth one, Zahlen Lotto 6 aus 49. Kreuzen Sie 6 Zahlen an. Hören Sie die Lotto Zahlen. Wie viele richtige haben Sie? So in the sixth one, oh, in the fifth one, you have this uh, kind of a puzzle. You have to do it. You can do it by your own. I, I have told you already the number still 1000. So this is not necessary, I guess. In the sixth one, Spiel im Kurs Bingo bis 50. Okay, in this, you have to note it down the number still 50. It's a kind of a bingo game. So we will be moving forward. Zahlen schnell sprechen. Bilden Sie zwei Gruppen. Üben Sie die Zahlen. Lesen Sie die Zahlen. Laut Gruppe A beginnt. Macht Gruppe A einen Fehler. Ist Gruppe B dran. Gewinner ist, wer so erst fertig ist. Okay. So in this, they have told you that to play a game. So here is the numbers given. You have to speak the numbers very quickly. Like very fast. So they have told you to divide the two groups. Group A and Group B. Group A will begin it. You have a group A will start reading the numbers fast, and if Group A uh, does any mistake, then the chance will be transferred to Group B. And if Group B done it good, or maybe have done mistaken, then it will transfer forward to the A one. So the games goes on, and whoever finishes the first will be the winner at the end. So you have to do it. You can try it at your home. This it's an interesting exercise. Okay, next one, Zagan Zee Fyun Fazalan the Andaran Shrive to Mit. So, okay, in this also, you have divided in the two groups. So, first group will say the numbers, five numbers, and other groups have to write it, which is also fast. Okay, in the fourth one, Zalan Fevendan Telephone Number und Rechnung. In this, here and see the dialogue, Shrive and the telephone number mit. In this, you have to listen to the dialogues and write the phone numbers in the dialogue that they are saying. 4-1 1? Ich habe jetzt ein Handy. Aha, wie ist die Nummer? 0171 2355 317 2? Bäcker? Bäcker? Ich habe 73, 49, 87, 55 gewählt. Ich habe die 73, 49, 87, 52. Oh, Entschuldigung, falsch verbunden. 3? Aha, und wie ist Ihre Telefonnummer? Das ist die 0341-804-3308. Ah, die 0341-804-3308. Vier? Telekom Auskunft? Platz 23. Hallo, ich hätte gern die Nummer von Wilfried Otto in Königshofen. Die Nummer kommt 0342 32 
3, 2, 6, 8, 8. Ich wiederhole. 0, 3, 4, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 6, 8, 8. Now we will be moving forward. Wichtige Telefonnummer finden. Im Telefonbuch oder im Internet. Okay, you have to find the important telephone number from the telephone book and from the internet. The Polizei. First is the Polizei. In this, the number of the bullets. I guess it's. Okay, the first picture only. The arts. You just have to read the numbers. Moving forward, the third one. Here and the ordinance, the dialogue too. Not here and the price. Okay, in this there are some bills given. You have to read the dialogues and write the price of them. Bills. Bill is called rationu. You can see here rationu means bill. So you will listen to the audio and write the price. Yeah, three. One. Oh, der Kurs beginnt. Zahlen bitte. Drei Eistee? Das macht zusammen 5,70 Euro. Und getrennt? 1,90 Euro bitte. Zwei? Ich möchte zahlen bitte. Was kostet der Cappuccino? 1,60 Euro. 1,60 Euro. Hier bitte. Danke. Auf Wiedersehen. Ich möchte bitte zahlen. Zwei Cola und zwei Wasser. Zusammen oder getrennt? Zusammen bitte. Also, zwei Cola, das sind 3 Euro. Und zwei Wasser, a ah, 1,40 Euro. Macht zusammen, Moment, 5,80 bitte. Hier bitte. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. I hope you have noted down the numbers of them. So I am telling you the price of them so firstly the picture is first picture is the c1 they have told so they have told the price of the c picture first the price is i stay drei i stay und the ein euro 90 and the total is 5 euro 70 one i stay is ein euro 90 and total is 5 euro 70 5 euro 70 and the second picture they have spoke about which is a in the a the price of the cappuccino is 1 euro 60 they have taken only one cappuccino and the total is 1 euro 60 only and the last picture is b the price of mineral water is 1 euro 40 and the price of the cola is 3 euro that is already written Okay, moving forward. Okay, here's the bill also. Bitte zahlen im Café. Spielen Sie die Dialoge, die Dialograffik hilft. Wir möchten bitte zahlen. Okay, if they ask you, wir möchten bitte bitte zahlen. So you will say, du zahlen oder getrennt? Together or separately? Getrennt means separately. Du zahlen bitte. Then the answer is, du zahlen bitte. And then, zwei Wasser und zwei Café. Das macht 5,90 Euro. Instead of comma, we write, we, and when we write the numbers like price, we do the, uh, write the comma. But instead of comma, in speaking, we say it 5 euro. Instead of comma, we say it euro. 5 euro 90. And the answer is bitter. Danke. Auf Wiedersehen. Bitter in the sense of the person is giving the money. This is the dialogue when you are paying the bill. In a restaurant. Okay, second, how will you do it? Zahlen. Zahlen oder getrennt? Zahlen oder getrennt? Zwei, drei, vier. Cola, Wasser, Cappuccino, das macht this, this Euro, bitte, danke. Okay, this is the currency of Germany. So we have done with the first chapter, then they have given the exercises. Übungen means exercises of chapter 1. Treffen im Café. So you, we have done it. So you have to place the dialogues according to how to, say the con how to start the conversation in restaurants or cafe. You have to place the dialogues. And if you have any doubt, you can write to me in the comment section. Okay, uh, I am thinking.
thinking to tell you the answers now only i guess which is good firstly and okay and should go is he a fry these are the same dialogue that we have done in the first chapter of the beginning yeah klar bitte yeah klar bitte ich bin michael aus frankreich und du ich heiße eise ich komme aus der türkei was trinkst du kaffee oder tee kaffee zwei kaffee bitte like that you can match your answers with the answers that i have told you just okay in the second one you have to match it and should go is he not fry the answer is yeah klar bitte mariana das ist frau schiller guten tag frau schiller kaffee oder tee tee bitte sind sie auch im deutsch kurs ja im kurs a1 ich trinke kaffee ich auch i hope you are checking your answers if not if not done you can pause the video and do it and then check later on in the third one fair up redungen ergänzen sie here you have to conjugate the verb die are common aus denmark parin wohnt in münchen was trinkst du ich heiße david taylor und kommt aus cardiff wie heißen sie das ist dennis jonas er kommt aus new york and the fourth one is here sind die antworten stellen sie die fragen here is the question just you have to ask the questions and the good thing is the questions are already given on the above you just have to match them was trinken sie tee bitte was trinkt ihr wir trinken kaffee wie heißen sie mein name ist katia gorowaska wie heißt du linia wo wohnen sie ich wohne in bad wilbel woher kommen sie aus der türkei okay in the next one zalen verstehen hören sie und ergänzen sie die temperaturen in this they will be telling you the temperature of the countries you just have to note it down the dialogues Einheit 1, Übungen, Ü5. Und nun die Temperaturen in Deutschland am Freitag. Kiel 18 Grad, Rostock 20 Grad, Hamburg 19 Grad, Hannover 20 Grad, Berlin 21 Grad, Köln 21 Grad, Dresden 22 Grad, Frankfurt am Main 23 Grad, Stuttgart 25 Grad, München 24 Grad, Jena 21 Grad. I hope you noted it down. If not, you can ask me in the comment section. In this, you have to note down the numbers. They are not written properly, so this is just an improper way. Okay, you can write numbers. I'm playing it. Six. One. Three and twenty. Two. Eight and twenty. Three. Seven and thirty. Four. Three and thirty. Five. Five and thirty. Six. 40 I hope you have noted on the number so firstly when they have started I thought the number is x but I actually they were saying the number of exercise which is x and then they have said eins and then they have started doing the counting Okay now telephones aus Zukunft hören sie und ergänzen sie die telefon number in this you have to listen Here it is. You have to listen to it and write the telephone number. Miss Sieben. Eins. Wie ist die Telefonnummer von Siemens in Singapur, bitte? Achtundsechzig, fünfunddreißig, achtundvierzig, siebzehn. Und die Vorwahl von Singapur? Fünfundsechzig. Zwei. Die Vorwahl von Namibia, bitte. Namibia. Moment. Das ist die zweihundertvierundsechzig. Drei. Die Faxnummer vom Hotel Borg in Island. Einen Moment. 55 11 42 8 und 354 für Island. 4. Die Nummer von Aves in Buenos Aires, bitte. Ja, die Nummer ist 11 4480 9387 und 54 für Argentinien. I hope you have noted down the number. Verben, setzen Sie ein. Mark the Zalen Mushroom. Okay. In this, you have to place the correct one, correct verb in the sentences. So first one is, "Was trinkst du?" You have to place it according to the conjugation. Ich nehme einen Kaffee. Next is, "Wir möchten Zalen, bitte." Fourth is, 
zahlen sie getrennt oder zusammen. Fifth ist, das macht 17,50 Euro. Okay, in the ninth one, you have to place the dialogues. So I'm just telling you the answers. Wie haben wir euch denn bitte zahlen? Zusammen oder getrennt? Zusammen bitte. Zwei Tee und zwei Cola. Das macht 6,90 Euro. Bitte. Danke. Auf Wiedersehen. Zahlen bitte. Zahlen Sie zusammen oder getrennt? Getrennt bitte. Also zwei Orangensaft. Das macht 3 Euro. Und zwei Cola. Macht 2,90 Euro. I hope you have written it. I have told you the second one also. Okay, in the next one, you have to just fill the gaps. The Canon, the Vyotar, again, the Vokala. These are Vyotar, Hyoran, Zin, Pools. Okay, they have told you that you have read, uh, heard these words in the course. So, I am just telling you directly the answer. These are Vyotar, Hyoran, Zin, Pools. First answer is Deutsch, Pools. The next one is Sprachschule. And the next one is Deutschlehrerin. And another one is Schreiben. Next, Sprechen. Next, Student. Next, Lesen. These are Vyotar, Hyoran, Zin, Cafe. So, what have you heard in the cafeteria? Cola, Wasser, Trinken, Rechnung, Cafe, Eiste, Zahlen. in this one welcher vote parts nicht in this one you have to just find out which one doesn't suit in this line so i'm telling you the answer of second one second one answer is fry third one answer is lernen fourth one answer is ein So you just have to repeat after them. U12, Text Karaoke. Ja bitte. Zusammen oder getrennt? Zwei Kaffee und zwei Stück Kuchen, das macht 7,80 Euro. Danke, auf Wiedersehen. I hope you have listened to it and repeated it after them. Café International, Welch of Yota, Pestehen Sie, Notieren Sie. So, if this is the exercise of yours, you have to read this and write the verbs that you have understood. For your better understanding, I'll read it first. Das Café Trinken ist eine arabische Tradition, die Türken haben Mokka International populär gemacht. In Europa hat Österreich eine lange Kaffeehaus Tradition und viele Kaffee Variationen. Heute ist Kaffee Trinken in Café Latte, Espresso und Cappuccino heißen die Top Favoritien in Hong Kong. New York, Berlin und Stadt, Petersburg. Kaffeeketten wie Starbucks, Segafredo und Coffee Beans sind so international wie McDonald's. Kaffee sind ideal für die Kommunikation und für Kontakte. So they have just told about the coffees, about the favorite one in the tradition and the famous brands of the coffee. Was mag das? Schreiben Sie die Preise und lesen Sie die laut. In this, you just have to write the price. How many coins you are saying? 1 Euro, 10 Euro, 20 Euro. And in this, you can see what have you learned in this chapter. You can you do this exercise. Laut lesen und lernen. Entschuldigung, ist hier frei. Was möchtest du trinken? Zahlen bitte, zusammen oder getrennt? Getrennt bitte. Das macht 13,40 Euro. Bitte, danke. Auf Wiedersehen. So, for your better understanding, you can see this, how many things you have learned in this chapter. From the next class, we will begin with the second chapter. Thank you so much for watching. German Pro, happy learning at home. You can book your free demo class by clicking in the description box.